I'm not interested in starting a dog food business for the sake of starting a dog food business. For me, it's just a great complement to this business that I already have in place. To buy this locally raised product, we have to buy the entire animal uh, directly from the farmer. For me to be comfortable with that and be kind of a conscientious carnivore, if you will, um, I have to be, you know, feel like we're doing the animal justice. And part of that is making sure so none of it goes in the garbage. This is our little dog food sample platter of the meat that goes in. See pork tongues, beef tongue, heart, chicken necks, and uh, backbones, what we call beef trim. So the dog food is, is a way to take that parts of the animal that maybe are a little browner um, or we don't have a market for, things that matter to us as people eating a high quality product, um, but that don't matter so much to our, our pooches. You know, we try to use just fresh ingredients and it's a mix of both raw and cooked products. We'll make a, I think this week we'll make a hundred packets. So each bag is about a pound and a half to 1.8. You have to put your orders in on, uh, on Friday and on Saturday we make it for the week. So we encourage people almost like a CSA, you have to pick it up Sunday, Monday or Tuesday. This product that we're making for dogs, you could eat and you would be fine. I just don't think it tastes very good and needs some salt and it's a little bit more livery and hopefully than I would like to eat. You know, I'm hoping that people will be receptive. So far, all the dogs have been receptive, though in my experience, you know, dogs are receptive to much food, but 